I've always been interested as a kid, like living out here by the river, and it was just natural to come to learn about everything around it. What you consider your home, you want to protect. So I started kayaking about three years ago at high school. Um, I did the outdoor education program at Howard College and they've basically trained me up from absolute noob into uh, whitewater instructor and rock climbing instructor. Basically every weekend or every second weekend for the last one or two years we've been going on trips to Bay of Plenty on the Kaituna River, the Wairoa River which releases every Sunday. It's called Kayakers Church. There's just something about like turning in fast moving water that's just exhilarating. A lot of people would ask if it's adrenaline, but to me it's more the muscle memory you get from practicing moves over and over because it just haunts you in your sleep. I mean, and it, you get direct knowledge if you're making progress or not because you're either flipping upside down and drowning or you're not. <laughs>thinking about which way to lean, which paddle stroke to take and often like when it all comes together it just feels so good when you get it right. The feeling of fast moving water just overwhelms you and it really just puts you in your place when you're on the river. It's quite humbling. You got it. Do you reckon Pack and Save wants their trolley back? <laughs> We got a lot of problems. Um, we got pests, we got pollution all through urbanized rivers. I mean, down the Botany River, there's just litter everywhere. You go down to the estuary where there's uh, lots of industrial buildings and they just throw out sheets of plastic like it's nothing. There are shopping trolleys, etc. Oh, I can taste the E. coli. I think the main thing for me in learning about sustainability in rivers is educating myself. I never would have realised the importance of cleaning my gear because it's so that we can continue to enjoy the rivers the way we do in the future.